Oh, look at you. Yes. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Jurassic World Alive. Well, boy, I say it every time. Every time we start an episode, but this time I really do mean it. We have a lot to go over. We have a lot to unpack because not only is there a new update, that update brings a lot of changes. Some good, uh, some questionable, and we'll definitely get into it because it's kind of changed the game up and it also, in a way, shows for me, anyway, a few of the game's flaws. Okay, so before we take a look in the actual game itself, let's have a look at the update. So there's, I mean, they've added creature markers, which I'm not really fussed about. Really, we're just going to jump straight into the most controversial one, um, which is the creature updates. So there aren't many creatures updated. Now, it, it did seem for a while, ooh, I'll take an Endlodon while we're here. Why not? Uh, it did seem like every update, there was multiple creatures that were changed. Um, so it wasn't just one, two, like three. It was basically every creature in the game was getting health up, attack up, things downed. Um, and it was kind of hard to keep a track of, especially when it was creatures that were never used. It was like, oh, cool. Purosaurus Gen 2 is getting more attack. Late game, it's like, eh. <laughs> who cares about that, I suppose. Um, but that aside, uh, so there are new creature updates in this game. Uh, on this update uh, and the only ones that have been updated are the most used and to be fair I understand that so let first off let's start with Sarah Magnus here you go Sarah Magnus so what's ha like we know if we just uh, like I'll quickly just sh throw my team up whether I put it in or not this is my team at the moment um, and I think bar one or two creatures this is the meta Maybe not Utaranix, and maybe not the deer so much, but pretty, or maybe uh, uh, Scorpius Rex. But mainly, Morton Rex, Sarah Magnus, Hadrosaur Lux, Monola Rhino, possibly Trichosaur, and Scorpius Rex. A lot of the meta at the moment. The, the, the Schoonosaurus hybrids used a lot, Smalanemis, Griper Sutures. You mix up a few uh, Unix here and there. But the updates, let's have a look. So, Sarah Magnus, its attack has been lowered by 200 from 1500 to 1300. Its speed has been reduced by one, which could make a big difference. Um, but I don't know. You've got the the speed boost attack anyway, so does it make a difference? Apparently. Um, and armor reduced by 5%. And critical chance reduced from 20% to 10%. So basically now, I wouldn't say that's game breaking for Sarah Magnus per se. Um, I'd say that mainly what the big changes that's going to happen is you're going to see a lot less crits. Half as many crits, basically. It was 20, now it's 10. So things that, you know, you'd see a swap, and if we got a crit, you'd be like, oh, for God's sake. That's not going to happen anymore. You'll be all right. And the next one is Hadassar Lux. Uh, now, Hadassar Lux has had a big change. I almost think Hadassar Lux um, might not see as much use now. People who used Hadassar Lux, it would go for Rampage first turn, and then Resilient Rampage next, depending on how much health it had left. So now... Instead of having the, the resilient rampage, which meant it made the other the other dinosaur vulnerable and took off block, oh sorry cloak, and I think it cleansed itself of damage reduction. Uh, now, now it doesn't have that. It has decelerating impact, so it doesn't do twice as much damage as does 1.5. I think attack 3,400, but that's mine. Um, so it's and also not only that, its attack has been reduced not by 100, but by 150. So my Hadrosaur Lux used to have about 2,500 attack. Now it has 2,300. That's a drop of 200, which is also a drop of 400 health when you go for emergency heal. The biggest change really is the lower of attack and of course the resilient rampage uh, being now a decelerating impact. I don't know. I feel like that we're, we're seeing this update so far with the two dinosaurs out of the four. Is it that it changed? Big updates to the meta. Uh, the next one to get an update is Mortem Rex. Uh, Mortem Rex now is resistant to stun from 75% to 50%, so way more chance of it being stunned, basic. And also its vulnerability resistance. Now, what would happen, or at least what I would see if I was against a Mortem Rex and I knew I could tank its uh, first hit as a Hadrosaur, I'd hope that, that the Mortem Rex was faster, because a lot of Mortem Rexes are. Uh, it would hit me, I'd survive, I'd get the, res the, you know, the vulnerability onto him, and then I'd go for Rampage and completely hit him and KO him in one hit. Now that's not so much the case. My Hadassah looks now can't really KO a Mortem Rex in one hit. One of the biggest changes was a good matchup between Hadassah Lux and um, Mortem Rex, especially now that, you know, Hadassah Lux has no need for it being speed. So everyone took their boosts off speed and put it onto health. 
so that it could basically tank a mortem no matter how fast it was. But now Mortem X is invincible to vulnerability. Its vulnerability cannot be touched. It is now 100% uh, immune to him, as well as speed. Uh, the only thing that it doesn't really have going for it is that, it, you know, its attack can be reduced, but then it's got the cleansing in. Uh, and the biggest update uh, to the creatures, that is, is that um, this guy, Testa Corbis, is it Testa? Testa Cornubus. Testa Cornubus. So it was used quite a bit um, because of its its healing ability, uh, its swap in heal ability. Um, and a lot of people didn't like it because it stalled. Now, it's a pain in the ass to take on if you don't have the right creatures for it. So if you've got something that goes through armor and can crit good, like a mortar, if a mortar rex is against this thing, it will always be killed in two hits, but it's whether or not you get, you know, if you mortar rex is out first and then it's out first, then they probably want to swap out. Otherwise it's going to die. Um, unless it's quicker, which, and even then, it's it's not going to do as much damage. So, Mortimer X would win 100% of the time. Testicornibus, prior updates to Testicornibus, caused it to become imbalanced and shoot up in the arena rankings too quickly. No, that was our fault, apparently. Um, we have reduced some of this creature's resistances and tweaked its ability kit to allow to work better in the overall meta. To be fair, I didn't really see it too much myself. And if I did, it wasn't too much of a problem. It just seemed like it had a stigma to it now that a lot of high level players could instantly get it because high level players get the best rewards because they've got the best creatures. It's basically the rich get richer in this game. Unless you want to spend lots of money, you're going to find it hard to progress quickly once you get to the late game. Uh, because like I said, people who got the best creatures end up winning the highest tournaments. I'd like to say that you know, the Allied Alliance Championship sort of thing has a bearing to it, which it does. But, you know, you get these tournaments each time. And, you know, if you've got loads of high level epic creatures, which people can't afford because they're trying to get the main team leveled up, you're not going to see the big box. So what has happened to it? So now it no longer swaps in heal. So you can't swap in, swap out sort of thing, which I never really used too much, but I'm sure some people did. Uh, and it's resistances. So it was 100% resistant to stun. Now it's 67. Uh, this was a big change to me last night when I got stunned. I was like, what? <laughs> uh, and swap out prevention resistance. So it used to be able to swap out all the time. Now it's only 33% uh, chance to swap out. Against a Gripo. So basically... You want a Griper Sutures on your team, basically. In my team, the way it is now, Testa Corbinus, I put 11 health boosts on. I've put one speed boost on it, I suppose. And I don't want to use it anymore. It can be stunned and it can, it can be swap prevented. And I don't know. It was kind of like, oh, well, it's going to be used quite a bit. And, it, you know, I just wanted to try something different. I wanted to try something that has strategy in it rather than just, you know... A beats B, B beats C, C, D, you know, that's the way it was. It always felt like that, you know, in these battles. And the meta, for me personally, got boring very, very quickly. Um, I know um, the last video I made on this game, I was like, wow, this is so cool. Um, I'm having loads of fun with this new meta. Um, and then a month into it, uh, I think it's been probably a month since I made a video in Dressing World Live. I've gotten very bored of it because every battle is determined on what dinosaurs you get. Because sometimes you don't get Monolorino and Sinoceratops and other times your enemy does. And it's just there's really nothing you can do against the swap-ins and you can't predict whether they've got it because, you know, there's a 50% chance that they probably will have it. Or There's a high chance they'll have it but whether they drew it, you know. It's all look at the draw now. It's a very swap-in meta, and I don't know how they're going to fix it. Ooh, what do we go for? Badger? 19,000 or Andrew? I think Andrew is low. We'll go for Andrew. We might have time to do both. Hey! So basically, that's it for the creature updates. And how this is having an effect on the actual meta of the game, I'll, I'll put this out there. The game does not reward experimentality um, or experimenting with your team. Because, let's say, like me, for instance, I really wanted to try out the Testa Corbinus. And I wanted to put boosts on it and everything like that. However, now that I've done that and I've experimented and I've tried something out. And, you know, maybe it was working. I was having fun with it. And then Ludia have just decided all of a sudden to pull the rug out from underneath me. Nerf it quite a bit. And now I've got boosts on a dinosaur that I no longer want to use. That's not my fault. I can take those boosts off. However, I'm only going to get 50% back. So I don't want to do that. 
and oh, it just sucks, man. I really wish that they would make the shuffle thing a permanent stuff. Maybe once every month, maybe the start of the month that everyone can shuffle their boosts. So at least that way there's a some sort of consequence. Or if you just want to have complete fun, why not just put boosts on everything? You know, why not, you know, well, be able to take the boosts off without any penalty? Why not make that? Okay, slow dear. I don't understand. It sucks. Especially now that you've changed everything. Oh, oh you, you see these dinosaurs just flip-flopping all the time. They're changing completely. And yeah, I don't, you guys probably notice that all the time. If you dart one thing and then you go back to the screen like, oh yeah, I can't wait to dart the other thing. And what do you know? It's changed complete dinosaur. That, that still happens and it's been in the game for a long time. Still haven't addressed it. Uh, but hey ho. I want to try other things. I fought a guy who had a level 30 compy and he beat me with it. And I had, you know, what do you call it, apex dinosaurs. But he beat me with a compi because his team was made for it. It was like swapping in and it would heal when it swapped in. And the thing is, compi, there was one tournament that we did not too long ago where the compi was so OP. It was so good. I can't remember which one it was in part of the uh, the tournaments here. But one of these, oh, they completely updated it. Never mind. Yeah, it was one of these had the compi in it. And it just, it was just so good. Um, and I was thinking, this guy is using a compi in the, in the actual meta. This is cool. I want to try this. Um, however, I've got my other compi hybrid, the unique hybrid, and I've already put about, what, like 15 speed boosts on it, so I don't have enough speed boosts to put on the compi to make it really good, because his compi was like 166 speed or something like that. Um... And I can't do that because I've got boosts on the other creature, but I don't want to take them off because, you know, that creature could be pretty good. And I don't know, maybe it'll get a buff in the future and have wasted boosts to do it. We're in this really, really stupid situation where I can't try things because we've gotten boostery shuffles in the past. So we're expecting it and we've had it more than once. We've had it twice now. And they're just like this floating enigma that whether Ludia wants to do it or not, we just have to wait. Or you can change your boost now and be penalized for it. Ludia needs to go on record to either say boost reshuffles are never happening again or they are. And it's going to be a common thing. That's what we need clarity on that. And I know that they watch my videos. So please, Ludia, some clarity. I'd love it, please. Because I'm, I'm now in limbo like, do I... Do I take my boosts off? Do I not? What do I do? We have new creatures! Something good! Way! I mean, hold on a second! There we go! New creatures! Hey! Right, so let's have a look. What do we have? And my god, do we have some abominations. <laughs> let's have a look, let's have a look. So, all the way at the bottom, because I now have to scroll all the way down to even see them. Here are the new creatures. So on the splash screen, there is the newest one, which was actually a fan voted for dinosaur. That is the Indotaurus, I think it is, this guy. And the way they promoted it, they they had like a drop down or different menus of, or there was different concept art of, of, the each, of each hybrids. There was like a really good Hadrosaur one, which is the, the one I think I voted for. There was a Flyer one, and there was this guy, the Indotaurus, which was Carnotaurus and Indominus Rex. Okay, for a start, false advertising, because it was it was up on its hind legs, like a regular, you know, Allosaur, T-Rex animation, whatever. However, the one we got is on all fours. I don't want it on its all fours. None of this creature's animation parents are on all fours. I don't want another Indoraptor animation. It doesn't look that great, if I'm going to be honest. I like, or give it a unique one. <laughs> no? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> but the second thing about this creature is it's a Carnotaurus. Oh my god. I, I don't... Carnotaurus is one of these creatures... And I've already gotten a sanctuary, so I've got to wait 12 hours till I can get it back. That has so many freaking hybrids. I honestly don't know how people have, have already maxed this out or have enough DNA to even unlock this creature. For a start, this is the first hybrid that you need Conotaurus up to level 20. So that's a good few thousand DNA just to get it there. And these are its ingredients. Uh, sorry, it's possible hybrids. Endotaurus which is already going to be 500 Carnotaurus a pop, I think, to, to attempt it. Then you've got Puritosaurus, which itself already has two hybrids, which is absolutely crazy. 
And then you got Scorpius Rex Gen 2, which is 50 Carnotaurus a pop, which you need to get to level 20, which is loads. And that already has its own Scorpius Rex Gen 3 to hybridize up. And oh, Jesus, there's just so much Carnotaurus DNA that you need. And the thing is, me, anyway, where I am, Carnotaurus is rare. Like, I've only, I mean, it wasn't at one point. I think I got it quite a bit. That's how I was able to get Scorpius Rex Gen 3. But now you've added another unique into the mix that is solely reliant on Carnotaurus DNA. What were they thinking? It's unbelievable because it will be like 500, if not 1,000 a pop. I think it's probably 500, maybe even 1,000, because I think it's 2,000 for a common. But let's have a look at the ones we can get. So this is a new one, the Argenturix. And I've seen a lot of people asking for Argentab Argentavis DNA. Um, I don't think, I think maybe I've only darted it twice, but there have been events where Ludia's been very nice to, you know, uh, add it to the, it was like an incubator. Uh, so you got like 500 extra or something like that. There was some sort of event where I got a lot of Argenta Argentavis DNA. So that's nice of them. Uh, the Archaeopteryx was another creature that was in a rare event and I just made sure to every time I saw an, Ar like an Archaeopteryx, I dotted it. That's why I got 4,000. But what's weird about these hybrids, or this update in particular, is all the new creatures, all the new hybrids that have been added to the game are using really rare DNA to find. So this guy, I mean, uh, Argentavis and Archaeopteryx are, you know, dinosaurs, or I should say, well, one of them's a dinosaur, but prehistoric creatures that, are ve that have either been recently added to the game or very hard to find. Argentavis being the very hard to find, and the same with Archaeopteryx. I don't think I've ever bumped into it in the wild, maybe once or twice. Um, but they're main I mainly rely on these guys, or to get these guys, in events through the week, basically, or incubators or something like that. And it's 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 just kind of crazy. Uh, the, and this isn't the only one. All of them are super hard to come by. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, I like that. This is a fluffier um, version of Archaeopteryx. And Scratlier looks like a magpie kind of creature. So here we go. We got alert buff strike. So HP over 601. Cleanses speed decrease and critical decrease. Increases critical hit. Uh, lasting for two turns. And does damage. Okay. If it is threatened, then um, it, it does cleanse itself. Um, and does get more increase in crit chance for 35%. Lasting three turns. Okay, so it's better threatened, in other words. Uh, evasive rampage. Okay, not bad. And fearless alert. Another um, flock dependent. Cleanse increased speed. So it cleanses itself. Increased speed by 10%, lasting for two turns. 75% uh, chance to dodge, lasting two turns. Okay. And all opponents reduce damage for 50%. What's its speed? Ooh, 127. You see, and this is the thing. That would be a really good dinosaur. would be like, huh, oh, let's try that. That looks kind of cool. But I don't have the coin, and I don't have the DNA for it. Uh, and threatened, does it heal itself? It looks like it heals itself. Um, increased speed by 10%. 100% chance to dodge. That's good. Um, and it, what does it do? Of two attacks, lasting two turns. And rally, so it heals itself if it's threatened. Ah, I like it. Now, normally, I think, well, actually, the other alert flock or whatever. I think with the compies, it needs to be threatened as well, below 1,200 health, which is if one dies. So that's pretty decent. Uh, it does have delayed cunning rampage. Okay. Swap and distraction. Good. Alert on escape. It heals itself. If threatened, it rallies 600. Otherwise, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, or is that on they escape? Ah, I like it. Swap represents 75%. Taunt. Okay. Rend. Meh. Crit reduction, meh. Eh, its reductions aren't too great. But that could be pretty decent. In the right hands with the right boosts, that would be really cool. I'm saving one. I'm saving one because it is an absolute abomination. I can't believe they've done this. <laughs> but this is the core heist. Uh, this creature... Uh, oh, ooh, hair is lovely. <laughs> um, yeah, this creature... So, ooh, it looks like it had fingers for wings, but I don't think it does. Um, the common is... Well, was as of recording this video, out in the wild. So I have been darting it a lot, a whole bunch, um, because I'm like, well, it's it's one that common. I think the best way to play this game is if you've got a common that isn't maxed out, just dart it. Just, and you'll see if I go into the Alliance uh, contribution, 
I'll be all dart and all like because last night I I may or may not have stayed up for four or five hours just trying to get Draco Rex to unlock the new unique hybrid because I actually don't spend money on this game as crazy as other maybe content creators do or hacked the game at the very start and got no penalty for it either hmm <laughs> i didn't gps spoof it unlike other people who now still play the game and hack other games uh, no i don't do that i actually don't but other people do and still play this game i don't know how i don't know what ludia's criteria is for content creators being allowed to make you know oh you, you hacked the game at one point ah, it's fine we'll just hope nobody saw it <laughs> anyway, anyway, I don't mean to point fingers. It's it's the way it is, and apparently Nudia let people get away with it, so there you go. Oh, they don't, but they it depends if you've got enough following, they do, apparently. <laughs> hey, there you go, a 10 for final. So let's even look at this. I, now, I've never used the eagle, that's why I've got so much DNA, I've never fused it. Uh, but if, you know, it has a hybrid, I'll do it. I don't see why not. Let's have a look. Ooh, look at you. Ooh, they got beakies now. Ooh, they look lethal. 130 speed, though. Damn, that's quick. And another flock creature. Um, I mean, a good thing to take on flock creatures is Gemini Titan or Argent uh, Ardennis Maxima or Mortem, even. Uh, I guess, but, you know, yeah, it is what it is. Both of them have, or all three of them have attacks that can hit everything. And you're probably going to kill two creatures or at least go through one and damage the other. Uh, precise piercing strike. Okay, fearless alert, which we've seen before. Precise impact and run. I like it, yes. Um, restricted group distraction. Again, what I mean, what the meta is right now is to put loads of dinosaurs in your game or in your team that are fast and can swap out and other dinosaurs like Monal Rhino and Sarah Magnus, which means that if they swap in, they do damage or basically if anything, get things that swap out and then when other things swap in, they do damage or get boosts or buffs or something like that. That's what the, the meta is right now. And... Don't even take my word for it. Lydia will probably change it and God knows what le what next later. Restricted group distraction. Okay, okay. Alert roost. So, on a swap, uh, you cleanse or HP over 1,200. You get self 75% chance to dodge. Uh, uh huh. Lasting two turns. Increased critical hit chance. Okay. But if you're threatened, then you do the dodge again, except for 100% chance to dodge whatever's coming in. So these are basically negating Monal Rhino and Sarah Magnus. That's what these are used for. So if something swaps out to swap in, you're good. Um, increase crit chance 50% for two turns. Okay, that's it. So you're just gonna, if, you know, if you're gonna get, you're gonna get hit, then you're okay, basically, if something swaps out to swap in. Stun, great, 100%, love to see it. Uh, swap prevention, 100%, love to see it. And rend, I guess Griper suits you, I suppose, but really not many of the dinosaurs rely on Rend, if I'm going to be honest. Maybe the, the thick load phallus thing. But apart from that, yes, that's actually usable. Only thing is, I'm going to run out of the lizard thing very quickly. And in fact, I do have a little bit of time to have a look around to see if I can just grab maybe one more. Here it is. Oh, that's a, oh, that's in the wild. Okay, well, we'll keep that. Is there anyone? Aha, here we go. We got one out. I'm probably going to try and just max this guy out because, well, they're quite rare. Saying that, though, we just saw one in the wild. So we're going to dart a couple of these. And I, you know what? I genuinely enjoy playing this game. I really do. And I hate, you know, I, I, the reason why I rag on it and I talk about the problems with Jurassic World Live is because I care about it. I want to see it do good because I genuinely have so much fun in this game. Um, the only problem is, you know, the meta at the moment. It's kind of sucky. And the way that things get nerfed or buffed, ra well, not really randomly, but things that are used quite a bit get nerfed and buffed. And, you know, people put a lot of boosts in them, like I have. I've got a Modern Rex with 20 attack boosts on it, and now you make it, you well, you make it invulnerable, which is good, but you also change its stun, so now it can be stunned. So, Model Rhino and Sinoceratops have a way better chance of taking it out, especially Sarah Magnus. Sorry, does it say Sarah Magnus? I don't know what it said. But basically, Sarah Magnus, it can swap in, do a hit, maybe stun it, and then what? It just goes for a speed boost? Yes. <laughs> yes, it will. Um, oh, damn, that's a little bit far away. But hey-ho, at least we had a look. Um, hopefully I don't get taken back to the top, but I will, won't I? 
You buggers, you. <laughs> so, one of the new changes to this game is that you can put markers on dinosaurs, which I guess is a good way of you being able to find it, and you can probably sort through the markers, possibly. So we click on a dinosaur, you click the little flag, and there you go. A nice little touch, something that's not too bad. Next thing I would say you add to the game is a history, Ludia. Add a history of things you've darted. you kind of done that with the high score because people like to keep tabs on, you know, how well they've darted. Make it more enjoyable. Have a look. Have a look how many times you've darted a dinosaur. Have a look, you know, your, your most recent, a bit like Pokemon has, where you're most recently caught. And, you know, that could help with somebody saying, look, I came across this thing. Look, it was right there. History. I don't know. Just some, you know, just things to make the darting aspect of it more enjoyable because this game's very battle centric and boost centric and build you know strategy so make the the darting fun you know maybe people just like to go out and dart and collect dinosaurs i mean i think okay so yes let's address the elephant in the room or the giant monstrosity in the room this thing now, when it came to Jurassic World game, I always wanted weird, bonkers hybrids. I wanted dinosaurs with two heads, you know. Uh, <laughs> this. This. Oh my god, the Megalotops. <laughs> it's so bonkers, I genuinely love it. I do. Also, uh, people who might have said, well, Carnotaurus is in a raid. You're right, but I didn't expect to get another freaking dinosaur that would need Carnotaurus so heavily. So, yeah, my bad. <laughs> and they put Carnotaurus in a, in a sanctuary just because I was like, Ugh, I don't know, just put Carnotaurus in. But I've been penalized for that now because it has a hybrid. Although I should have known that. I think they, they, might, they might have released it, to be fair. But anyway, here we go. We got 30, 30, 30. And then a 20. Okay, okay. Well, another 40 would be great. A 100 would be amazing. I'd like that. Look at this guy. Look at him. I mean, it's sloth. But then it has like a monocer oh, sorry, Nazutoceratops head. And again, Nazutoceratops being another creature that has a, a fair few hybrids. Uh, so this is another hybrid with a new creature, the new sloth. And Nazutoceratops, another dinosaur that has had a, you know, Megaloceratops or Tesco Testacorbinus or whatever, needs the hybrid for Nazutoceratops to make or something like that. So here it is, the hard to find kind of hybrid. And wow, look at this thing. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like it. It's got a bit of an owl look to it with those eyes. Okay, so it's uh, it's got 10% armor, 10% crit. Not too bad. Uh, determined strike. Cleanse reduced damage and damage over time. Pretty decent for a regular attack. And goes through freaking block. I mean, uh, dodge. Um, target higher speed. Removes, removes speed. Um, critical and damage increases. Wait. Critical and damage increases. Okay, remove all of that. That's really freaking good. Uh, reduce critical chance 100% for two turns. Last one turn. Reduce damage 50%. Lasting one turn. Precise attack and vulnerable for one attack. Whoa, what the? And the fact it has camouflage as well? Is it an epic? It must be an epic. Yeah, it's an epic. Wow, okay. Cautious rampage. Another really good one. The camouflage distracting. Stunning alert. Okay. Now, is that, a pa is that on swap in? I think that's on swap in. It should it should make a bit more clear. Um, so you swap it in, HP over 900, highest damage, 100% uh, chance to stun. So you will stun them if they can be stunned. You know if they've got no uh, resistance, or um, chance chance to stun. Okay, so if they've got low health, then there's less chance. And they have an armor piercing counter, and they get camouflage on escape. What? What is this nonsense? Oh, wow. Okay, so you had 3% chance to swap out and speed reduction decrease 75% chance. Yeah. 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 It's not got great resistances. It's got great moves. But this is a dinosaur that I feel like, or a creature that I have a weird abomination hybrid looking thing that is probably going to get a hybrid itself. So I'm not going to worry too much about leveling it up. If I was the highest ranked player and I had a gazillion bucks because I win everything on a gazillion coin because I win everything, then maybe I can have fun. But I can't because I don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds in the game. Um, and I don't think I should. I don't think I should have to spend that money to, you know, experiment. But everything about this game, like I said, is just built to not... It's to stifle your creativity. It's like, okay, this is your team. You work on your team. You don't try anything else. And that's it. Um, 
Right, okay, and even the field guide app, which is, you know, the app that you use to, what do you call it, to, um, you know, test out builds beforehand, even that isn't their own app, that's like somebody else made that. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. I was just having a quick look to see. Yes! Another one! Get in! Another one in the wild. Wow, they like that one, don't they? I like that one, too. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, like I said, we got loads to go over. We haven't even went over the, um, you know, what's coming up this week. Because it's a really good week. Um, I mean, the dinosaurs, they, they accidentally sent out the wrong dinosaur sheet. Um... Uh, to promote and then they were like oh god no it's actually this one which isn't as good um, but there's still a lot to grab so before we do uh, let's just level up this guy and then see what we've got coming up in the roster this week also do not forget we have a link in the description below to get 50 free books in the game don't forget that it's very handy um, and if you're watching this on the device that you play Jurassic World Live on, that's all you need. Just click on that, it'll open up Jurassic World Live, you'll claim your reward, then you can do whatever. So here we go. Uh, we got four Rurex. So this is probably a dinosaur that we're going to see a lot of. I don't even know what its moves are, but I'm expecting, you know, it swaps in. It can either stun or do damage. That's probably what it's going to do. It will also have a rampage and run move. Um... Oh, man, it's just going to be killer. This thing's really going to be killer. That's why I'm going for it. It's probably out of all of the uniques that we've got so far. It's probably going to be the one that's the most likely to be used a lot, I think. Indotaurus, not so much. I've actually looked at its moves and it's not that great. And I was also very tempted, if we look at Phosphoracus, to level it up, actually. Um, because I've already got level 26. Because I was actually going to use it in my team. Because if you look at its moves... Instant Rampage is great. Then you've got Delayed Rampage and Run. And you've got to swap in Chance of Stun. It's just really good. I, and it's a bit fragile, but the fact that the swapping meta is so apparent right now, and it has its own swapping ability, and it has a Rampage and Run. Yes, why not, right? It's just a bit weak in its its armor, which has none of, and its health. But we got, what? We've almost got two, four, six. We've got three more pops of this. And... Oh, that is really good. I really don't think we're going to unlock it, but you never can tell. We'll definitely unlock it for the next video. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, there we go. What, we need another 100, and we've got one more pop. We're, oh, we're so close to getting another pop, but 20. We'll definitely get it next time. Definitely get it next time and have a look at it. It's got weird spines running down its back. I don't even know where those come from. So, let's have a look here. See if we've got any... Um, What's it called? Any DNA to collect. And I don't know whether anyone's done the recruit thing. I know it was broken and then they put it back in. I don't know. Anyway, we'll just quickly go to sanctuaries and maybe it'll refresh. Okay, did we get any Draco? Or does it not want to load the Draco? Ah, brilliant. Hold on. Apparently, you need to go into a sanctuary. You need to click on a dinosaur. Pet it. Go back. And then hopefully it'll fix it. Oh, yeah. There you go. And did I get that one as well? Oh, I didn't get that one. Oh, there we go. So what was it? Get the required amount of direct hits, collect the required amount of common DNA, and fire. Yeah, I thought I would do that. I thought I was pretty good at that. <laughs> so, here are the events. You've got, well, not go over Monday to Tuesday, because we've just missed that one. So, Wednesday to Thursday, you've got the Archaeopteryx, the Tijongosaurus, the Sungapterus, and the Quetzal. If I was going to be honest, I'd probably go for the Archaeopteryx. That's probably the best one to go for, uh, especially when it's got that new hybrid that seems pretty decent. Um, Friday, you've, this is where it starts to get really good. Friday, you've got Pachycephalosaurus, Compsognathus. There you go. Get it. It's really good. If you if we get that tournament again, uh, Compsognathus is just a really good creature. And I was quite tempted to maybe max it up, but again, I don't have the coin or the boosts. So, thanks, Lydia. Uh, <laughs> and Aquacandosaurus. Really, you got nine attempts. I'd go for Compi, if I'm going to be honest. Maybe Acro, if you're wanting one of the hybrids. Uh, I'd, I'd go for Compi. Uh, Saturday, you got the Scutofusion or the Kulebagungagungadungu. Uh, out of those, I don't even know. I think the Kulebagunga is what you need for Gem to Titan. I could be wrong, but I think maybe that's what you need for it. I don't know about the other one. And Sunday, unfortunately, you had one. Ch you got one chance with these, and it's either Antarctica Venator. Or Smile and Emmys. Now, most people will probably have Smile and Emmys pretty high level because of the raids. Um, I don't. 
because I have like I just don't want to use it. I should have been doing the raids to be honest, and maybe I will now on. I think I'll re I've realized that I should have been doing the Conatorus raids, and therefore I would have got loads of DNA, and I would be way closer to getting the new hybrid. But it is what it is. I'll do it from now on. Um, but the thing is, <laughs> Jurassic World Live accidentally posted this, but instead of Smile and Emmys, it was the Titanoboa Constrictor or whatever it was. You know, the unique hybrid. And that would have been really sweet. Hard to dart, but really sweet. Um, but no, no, we don't get that. We get Smile and Emmys again. Um, but really, out of all of these, it looks like on the Saturday, you might get an emote. Because Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you've got attack boost, health boost, speed boost. Uh, so we should be getting attack boost today. Um, as well as a Tujongosaurus incubator that kind of looks like what it is. Um, other incubators, you've got a Compi freaking incubator on the Friday. Get him! That's awesome. I love Compi. Compi's so good. I love Compi. Uh, like, I, if there's one dinosaur that I could just max up 30 and get all the boosts on that I want, Compi would be the one, definitely. Um, and then on the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, you've got the lunchbox things, which I think is... You, maybe you only need to open one and you get the whole uh, reward. I'm not too sure. But either way, it's there. Right, with that being said, let's quickly dot an Ehrlichosaurus Gen 2. Ooh, yeah. So, guys, let me know what your thoughts are on the update. Because it does feel like the more stuff that Lydia puts into the game, the more it kind of annoys people um, and the more they change. Like, already we've seen two uh, people from, what's it called? Um, the, oh, what's the, Game Press, that's it. I think there's now been two that put out proper twit longers on why they've decided to leave the game. And, fair enough. I, I honestly feel like, oh yes, more, more. Uh, if you've unlocked everything and you've played this game to death, and they're, they're, it, it probably would be boring. It probably would be. And I think that's the reason why, you know, you, you like, pay to win works and it doesn't work. Because you spent all that money, you get what you want, and then you're like, now what? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I guess if you've unlocked everything and you've got everything up to level 30 or everything that you want to, I probably would be bored too. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll jump into like a battle, see what the, because they've just recently uh, reset the tournaments or the, the leaderboards that is. Don't know what I got. I didn't do too bad in one of the tournaments. I got 375 bucks, I think it was. Hey, look at that thing. Nobody wants you. Bye-bye. <laughs> right, let's do a battle, shall we? All right, come on. What we got? What we got? Let's have a look. <gasps> uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and line up Utaranix with um, the Ceramagnus so I can get a good swap out here. Uh, ooh, the rampage coming through. Interesting, interesting. Now, I don't mind if Trico Rex dies here, or Trichosaurus. Um, ooh, ooh. You think he'll go for the greater healing rampage or emergency heal? He might do. I don't know if he can kill me, even with my vulnerability. I don't think he can. I think he'll go for the heal here. I think he will. He's probably just gonna, like, try and get me down a little bit more so that something can swap in, stun me because I'm a Trico, which means I have no stun resistance. Um, if I was him, that's probably what I would do. Let's see. So he's going to do more damage to me there. Um, and I guess he could do a Rampage now. Um, now, what what do I do here? I, I, I just accept being hit. Is that what I do? Or do I switch to Scorpius Rex? I think I switched to Scorpius. Like, I, yeah, I, I mean, I kind of felt like something big was going to come in. Didn't expect the Molten Rex. I was actually quite tempted for the invincibility there. <laughs> that would have been completely wasted. Um, however, this actually hasn't worked out too bad. Um, he could swap back to Hadrosaur, expecting me just to go for a little hit, because that's what I would technically do instead of going for this big one. Um... But you know what? In case he does want to switch back to Hadrosaur Lux, get an emergency heal off, I'm just going to go for this. Um, do a lot of damage. So at least next turn, I'm going to kill him. Because it doesn't matter. Even if he goes for cleansing, which he did do. Um, and he did get through, I think. Oh, no, he didn't. He didn't get through my block. Um, I'm just going to go for this one. I mean, it makes more sense. I mean, is this a speed? Yeah, 132 is a big speed. Can I put, like, a little thing on his? I can. <laughs> is that going to be on my mortem? Or have I just, like, switched off and put a flag on his creature? <laughs> That'd be so funny. I think it's probably done it for me, though. Like, ha <laughs> purple flag for you. Your triangle could be purple as well. <laughs> uh, so he's got his own here. 
Um, now, what do I do? What do I do? Uh, kind of tempted just to switch to... I'm just going to switch to Trico. It's probably not the best tactic. I'm just going to put off Trico. Um, he can do that. Not too fussed. I'm just going to go for a regular hit here. Because uh, he might go for invincibility. And at least then I'm going to... Yeah. At least then I'm going to do some damage to him. And I could have went for the bigger hit. Made him vulnerable. But nah, I'm not too fussed. Not too fussed about that. Um, okay. Okay. So now... Now I'm actually quite tempted to go for... Oh, it's a Mortem. Oh, I thought it was a Ser... Why do I think it was a Ser Magnus? I saw there was an Apex. Ah, son, let's just do this. <laughs> then at least if Mortem Rex dies, we can get the Utaran X to switch into Scorpius Rex Gen 3. Um, I think we're pretty safe to win this one. I, I could be eating my words here, but getting a Mortem Rex that's faster than... Yeah, I think he's clear. <laughs> I think he's run. Nope, I'm done. He went... No. <laughs> That's what he did. Oh, uh, yeah, he's rage quit. He's rage quit. Yeah, I don't blame him. I mean, well, I do blame him. And, like, what was his other dinosaurs? Does he really see him on Mortem and go, That's it, I quit. In a model of Rhino! Was he quitting with that? Or is he just trying to delay my time? Let's see. He might be. He might just go for a... <gasps> I'm going to go for... Oh, I should have went for the, uh, the cleansing. Ah, damn. Because if he has disconnected, that's what he'll default to. Bugger. <laughs> Ah, well, you can't win them all. Really, I suppose. I mean, the highest I got was 5,000 or 6,000 and something. I, I do occasionally, very rarely, but occasionally get into, uh, what do you call it? The, um, the Nublar Shores. I've gotten there once before, stayed for maybe two games, and then fell back down. Don't stay in there for long. And, you know, what can I say? The game doesn't want me to take things off my dinosaurs without penalizing me and i don't want that to happen so although this is the one battle we've done it is a bit of a shame that it turned out this way <laughs> uh but there you go we, we 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 made a person uh rage quit there you go well done rojata or Ro rojta 956 well done <laughs> it's like no <laughs> I'm quitting. Anyway, guys, we're going to leave it off here. And maybe next time we'll get the new phosphor, blah, 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 whatever it is, uh, unlocked. But until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Or baby babies, we should say. Bye-bye. <laughs>